After watching this tutorial, you will learn how to paste into visible cells only when you have hidden rows or cells in Microsoft Excel. Okay, welcome to my channel. In one of my previous videos, I demonstrated how to paste into visible cells only when you have hidden rows or cells in Excel. If you haven't watched that video yet, the link is available in the description box. In this video, I'm going to show you an alternative way for doing this. And the reason I'm creating this video is that one of the viewers on my channel left a comment and this person asked whether it's possible to perform this action in an alternative way without using the skip blanks feature. Thank you so much for your comment. Uh, you're the reason I'm creating this video. And for that reason, I'm using the exact same data set I used in my previous video. So here's what the situation is. I have a data set here consisting of numbers from one through eight, and I have a separate data set which contains alphabet letters from A all the way through H. What I want to do is I want to be able to copy and paste from this range into the range above it when there are hidden rows in the first range. So here's how it goes. Let's say I have hidden rows here. Let's say I've hidden rows five through eight. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. So there we go. I just hid four rows. Now I want to be able to copy paste from this range, which contains alphabet letters from A through H into this range and only paste into the visible cells. In other words, I want the values which are hidden to remain intact. I want the same numeric values to remain there. And when I copy paste from this range, I want data from this range over here to only be pasted into the cells which are currently visible. So let's try doing a traditional copy and paste. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna do a copy. Then I'm gonna select this range over here, which includes the hidden rows and I'm just gonna do a paste. Let's see what happens. So A, B are the first two values, that's correct, and G and H are the last two values, that's also correct. But as I mentioned before, I don't want any of these values to be pasted into those hidden rows. Now let's see if that's happened or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and unhide this range, which I previously hid. There you go, so everything was copy and pasted including within the hidden rows. And we don't want that. What I want to ha have is I want to have A, B, then I want to have three, four, five, and six over here. So this is the desired view. But as you just saw, when I did the copy paste into this range, that didn't happen. And the values which were hidden were also affected by this copy and paste. And we don't want this to happen. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how I can achieve this. That is to copy paste into visible cells only and leave all hidden cells intact. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide the desired cells once again. As you can see, these cells, which I'm about to hide, contain numbers from three all the way to six. And I'm gonna go ahead and hide this range again. There we go. Now I want to copy paste from this range into this range, which contains hidden cells, without impacting the hidden cells. Here's how I'm gonna do it. So the first step, so I select, right click, and then I click on copy. The second step is to select and highlight the destination range, which is this range over here in this case. The next step is to click on Control G on your keyboard. This go to page appears, and on the go to page, I'm gonna click on special. And then I'm going to click on visible cells only. So I'm going to select this radio button over here. And then I'm going to click on OK. The next step from here is to click on the equal sign on your keyboard. And then click on the first cell of the range, which is cell C15 in this case. And the final step is to click on Control Enter simultaneously at the same time on your keyboard. So I'm gonna click on Control and Enter. And there we go. As you can see, this copy and pasting has taken place and 
we can see the first two values and the second two values have been pasted correctly. But how about the middle cells, which are hidden? Have they been impacted? As I explained before, we didn't want those middle cells to be impacted by this copy and pasting. We wanted them to stay intact and we wanted them to still display the numbers that is from three to six before I hid these couple of rows over here. So I'm going to do an unhide over here. Let's see what happens. So do unhide. There we go. We got the exact desired result that we wanted. That is the hidden cells are completely intact and they were not impacted by doing this copy and paste. And this is a very neat trick. It's a much more efficient way of doing it than the way I did it in my previous video. In my previous video on the same topic, I used the skip blanks function. And uh, while that feature also works, this is a much more efficient and effective way of copying and pasting into visible cells only when you have some rows or cells which are hidden in Microsoft Excel. And that's how it's done. Thank you so much again, Louis, for your comment. I hope you and all the other viewers on the channel will find this video useful. And as always, feel free to leave any comments, questions in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond to any of your questions and comments and create more videos uh, based on your suggestions. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos. That's all for today. Bye now.